to a very curious place. I found a temporary home for the camera when I film. Grace is out hunting. I just got home, which is why I look like this. The hair is getting too long. It's impossible to do anything with it. I keep getting a call on shit. But I found something new at the store. Granted, I did get some voodoo chips, but we've already done a review on those. But I got these. Cajun Dill Gator Taters. Okay. I, and these are another Zaps product. I like me the Zaps product. It's starting to rain again. Awesome. Um, I do like Zap stuff. I, um, love pickle chips. They don't love me back, but I don't care. I, I, it's a one-sided love and that's all right. Yeah. But yeah, so let me show you the back of those. Okay. Now, there are actually two and a half servings in this, so I'm going to give you the stuff for, like, the entire bag, because let's be honest, sometimes you share, sometimes you just want the whole bag for yourself. Okay, this is 380 calories per container. Not that bad. Um, total fat, 21 grams. Cholesterol, 0 grams. Sodium, 800 milligrams. Oh, good Lord. Um, that's bad. Total carbs, 42 grams. Again, they're potato chips. You know they're carbs. If you're counting carbs, you're not eating potato chips. Um, dietary fiber, 2 grams. Total sugars, 2 grams. Added sugars, 1 gram. Not sure why it's added. Protein, 5 grams. You can justify it by saying it has, high, it has protein in it. Vitamin D, 0. Calcium, 7 milligrams. Iron, 0. Bummer. Potassium, 332 milligrams. Oh, no. Sorry. Potassium for the whole bag is 871 milligrams. I switched sides. Um, iron for the whole bag is one milligram. I, calcium for the whole bag is 18 milligrams. Okay. So these have no dairy, no animal stuff in it. That I've seen. Yeah, it doesn't show anything like animal or something like that. They are gluten free. Gluten free, hey. Gluten free. Maybe you get a thumbnail. Maybe you don't get a thumbnail. I have no idea. Anyway, um, so they would be vegetarian. They would be vegan. So they're potato chips. But you never know. Some people might, I don't know, put beef extract on them. I don't know. You can't, you can't see in there. They're just chips. Let's get a good one here. Look at that. Can you see the stuff on it? Not really. It's a kettle chip. It is a kettle chip, so... Oh, you can smell the dill. I love dill. You hate these. You don't like dill potato chips. She doesn't like pickles. And since she doesn't like pickles, I know she won't like dill. Mmm. There we go. Go figure, I don't like sour candy, but I love pickles. Can't explain it. Don't understand it. Now, if you've tried the Lay's potato chips, I will tell you right now, these are not as dilly, dilly or as pickly as the Lay's potato chips. Um, if you've tried the, I think there's like the no-name brand that's like the off-brand of like the Lay's, these are also not as dilly or pickly as those. These are actually pretty good. I like the level of dill on this. The Lay's pickle chips actually make my mouth hurt. I, I, that's why I can only eat a couple at a time because they make my mouth hurt. Um, they feel good. is good. It's got just the right amount of dough. It could use, it, it could be better with a little bit more, but it's good like this. It does remind me a lot of the Voodoo chips. All of their chips have a similar taste. That sounds terrible, but they've got that kind of like spicy with a little bit of a kick. You know, this does remind me of the Voodoo chips because the Voodoo chips do have kind of like a tangy taste of them, but the Voodoo chips have, I think, paprika on them, and these don't. These have garlic powder, um, onion powder, 
Oh, actually, these do have paprika, but just for color. I don't know. So that would be why they do taste like the Voodoo Chips, is because they do have a lot of the same things as the Voodoo Chips. I, I don't know. My look. Because I did get the Voodoo Chips. Okay. Potatoes, peanut oil, sunflower oil, salt, sugar, okay, main difference is this has vinegar powder, which I'm assuming is the, that tangy dill, and this, the voodoo ones have paprika, but they also have turmeric and smoke flavor. So that's why there's the similar thing is because these both, the, so the similar thing is that they all have onion powder, they all have garlic powder, and they all have citric acid. So there you go. That is the, uh, the thing in common. So um, as I said before, I like the Voodoo chips. I like these. It's raining. Astra is unhappy. She's hiding in the house. Grace, however, is just watching out in the yard because there might be a cat that stalks out past the gate, so. I do like it. I do. Um, this is actually really good. It's not that spicy. It's not that tangy. It's actually less so than the Voodoo Chips. So, two thumbs up. Zappos, Cajun Dill Gator Taters, and I love the color of the bag. The um, the Voodoo Chip bag though, is still my favorite. Look at little Voodoo dolls. I'm a strange person, but yeah, this is these are very good. Wouldn't eat them often because that's a lot of sodium, but still, it's nice to have around the house, you know. So definitely do recommend any of the Zaps chips. Honestly, any of the Zaps. I went out of frame there for a second. Any of the zap, good grief, it keeps going. Any of the zaps chips, I highly, highly recommend. And on that note, that's all I got. So if you would like to like and subscribe, please feel free to do so. That would be awesome, but you're awesome anyway. You are, and I don't want to hear you say anything bad about yourself. As always, much love from me, Heather, Grace, and the rest of the brood, and a very curious place. Stay strange, sweeties. Bye.